Alyssa. So Abby, today is the day many seniors have looked forward to. And dreaded. But we'll get back to that in a minute. For now, what headlines do we have, Olivia? These are our top news stories. On Tuesday, two more Loveland, Colorado police officers, Tyler Blackett and Daria Jalali, along with Sergeant Philip Metzler, were placed on administrative leave after the arrest of a 73-year-old woman, Karen Garner, with dementia, which is now the focus of a criminal investigation. Garner suffered a dislocated shoulder, fractured arm, and sprained wrist after she was slammed into the ground, hogtied, and placed in the back of a police car, according to the federal lawsuit against Officer Hopp and a second officer. She was arrested for allegedly trying to steal $13.88 worth of items from a Walmart. Garner's attorney said she has dementia and sensory aphasia, which impairs her ability to verbally communicate and understand others. The attorney said Garner's dementia had caused her to forget to pay for the items, which were recovered by Walmart employees. Mayor Bill de Blasio announced yesterday that New York City will fully reopen for business on July 1st. This will mark a rebound towards the loss of more than 10,000 people within the first month of the pandemic, which was more than a year ago. City officials feel confident in bringing life back to normal. Within his announcement, the mayor said, you're going to see amazing activities, culture activities coming back. I think people are going to flock to New York City because they want to live again. Ferris State University is ranked 298 out of 389 in national universities. Schools are ranked according to their performance across a set of widely accepted in indicators of excellence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. for all. Variety Show photo submission deadline extended to Monday, May 3rd at 4 p.m. Seniors, we need your photos. Tell your senior friends, spread the word. We're asking you to submit your class of 2021 related photographs. Think pre-K through 12th grade for the Senior Variety Show slideshow. Photos must be school appropriate. Photographs must be submitted to the following email address to be included in this year's slideshow. SVSESM21 at gmail.com. So tomorrow, May 1st, is College Decision Day. And that day is most colleges set at the deadline for candidates to respond. And while the day was moved last year due to the coronavirus, this year that is not the case. So, Ali, where are you going? I will be attending Clemson University in South Carolina. Nice. I'll be staying here up in New York State, going to Onondaga Community College. Now let's find out where some other people here at ESM are going after weather. Today we'll have a high of 52 with rain showers. Over the weekend it will be the same with temperatures in the low 50s to low 60s. Monday, Tuesday will be the same as well except temperatures will warm up to high 60s. Wednesday and Thursday the rain will finally clear up and have temperatures in the low 60s. I'm Emily with your weather. Engineering, and I'm going to Nazareth College for my future. My name is Carmen Jacobs. I'm going to ESF for Wildlife Sciences. Hey, I'm Abby Kokitas. In the fall, I'm going to Onondaga Community College, and I will be majoring in childhood education. My name is Eric Callahan, and I'll be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point. My name is Antonio Cambrari, and I'll be attending Onondaga Community College. My name is Sarah Brabham. I'm going to Mount Hood Community College, and I'm studying business. Hi, my name is Jordan Sanson. I'm going to St. John Fisher in the fall and I will be studying adolescent education. I'm Milo Kessler. I'm going to SUNY Oswego in spring of 2022. I am going to be studying social studies education for grades 7 through 12. I'm Amber. I'm going to Pomeroy College of Nursing at Cross Hospital to study nursing. I'm Mary. I'm going to ESF to study chemistry. I'm Helena. I'm going to Fairfield for interior design. 
I'm Emma Beal. I'm going to St. John Fisher College in Rochester, New York, and I'm going for nursing. I'm going to George Mason for environmental science. Barton Junior Honor Society has partnered with the Food Bank of CNY to help fight hunger during the pandemic. To help out, you can visit foodbankcny.org and donate. There will also be a shopping cart in the main lobby where you can donate physical goods. The physical items will be donated to St. Matthew's Food Pantry. The virtual food drive will go to May 15, 2021. During this time of need, donations are needed more than ever. If you have any other questions, please speak to Mr. Sweeney or Ms. Mock. The, cor the course may have held up better than the girls' reindeer did. In brutal conditions, ESM Blues, Spartans, Isabel Chevesy, and Jessica Griffith parted 45s. ESM Orange defeated Oswego, and Blue was victorious over Orange. The boys' track team started out the season strong last night, rushing Cortland and Living Word. Leading the way was Bennett Ferrari with wins in four events, and Todd Durantini, who won three events. The girls' track team also crushed Living Word and Cortland yesterday. Rhiannon Butchko and Kaylee Malouf were top perform performers for the team and won both of their events. Former Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence was selected number one overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Quarterback Zach Wilson went two overall to the New York Jets and quarterback Trey Lance went three overall to the San Francisco 49ers. Other notable players selected were Jamar Chase at five to the Cincinnati Bengals, Devonta Smith at 10 to the Philadelphia Eagles, Justin Fields at 11 to the Chicago Bears, Mac Jones at 15 to the New England Patriots. And I'm Aiden with your sports. That's all we have for today. So from Abby, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day. Good luck, seniors.